In this video, I want to talk about the not instruction. This can be used and I think is really, really important to understand for those who want to progress into really understanding how PLC works. The not instruction is can be a, very confusing when you convert it from digital fundamentals or digital logic into a different circuit. And so I just want to start the conversation off about this. And then in later videos, you'll see this really, really applied in different circumstances. So let's say, for example, well, let's just start off with the digital logic here. So this is the symbol for the not instruction. And what the not instruction, sometimes referred to as the inverse instruction, takes a one and makes it a zero and makes a zero, makes it a one. So let's take a look. So right here I have a zero, meaning there's no voltage going to it. That runs through the inverter and out here I get a one. Okay. Now if I activate the switch, I get a zero. So I activate it, I make it zero here. That goes down to zero. Now it's off. So it inverts the signal. Okay. That's what it does. Sometimes referred, it's called the not function, but it's also very commonly called an inverter. Okay, and all this does is just switch the signal. Sometimes refers to as negates the signal. I don't love that way, but it's one of the terms. Now in a motor control circuit or a ladder diagram, this can become very confusing. What we need to understand about this is we need to use a normally closed switch to make it a not. So if I want this on when I'm not activating the button, well, in that case, I need to have a normally closed switch, okay? And the most, kind of the most common or the first one we use for a normally closed switch is a stop button. So I have a normally closed push button here. Now you'll see electricity is flowing to solenoid one, solenoid one is activated, and power, pneumatic power is flowing through here and extending the cylinder. When I push the button, that disengages solenoid one. This turns off, this turns off, the spring pushes this back, and the way the logic of the power circuit works, that retracts the cylinder. If I let it go, okay, oops, if I let it go, it goes back into its normal position, being normally closed. So it is true when I'm not activating it. So what it does is when, so right now the signal is, my, my finger represents, my hand here represents a zero and one. I'm not activating it. So it is a zero, but yet I'm getting a one through there. I push the button, that disengages it, that takes the zero, or that then makes a one converting it to zero, which turns it off. So it can, relating this and this can be a little tricky. And if that wasn't tricky enough, that kind of thought process of thinking something as I'm not activating it, yet it's still true, uh, it gets a hair more confusing, at least I think, in pneumatic circuits, okay? So here's an example of a not push button, okay? So this is a push button here, and I'm not pushing it, and it is true, meaning I have a zero here, and I have pressure coming out of here. So notice, I just added a, a pressure gauge to it. Notice that I have pressure here, okay? And I'm not pushing it. I have a one here and my switch is not activated. My solenoid is true, but I'm not activating the stop button. When I activate this, it shuts it down, retracts the cylinder. I let it go, it re extends out. And that has to do with the logic here. Now listen, if I wanted this to be the opposite function here, there's so many different options that I have. So I could very easily just flip the uh, ports on here. So just take my A over to here, my B over to here, and then the cylinder is retracted. But again, I just wanted to show you the function of how I take a knot from digital and convert this into more real world circuits. This can become even a little extra confusing when you get to PLCs. Understanding the knot function in a PLC is very, very important. And I'll make a video on that later when I, when I start to take this into the PLC realm. So anyway, you're gonna to start to see the knot function pop up every once in a while in these circuits because we need a stop button to oftentimes kick off memory 
which is going to be in the next episode. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, put them in the comment section, and if you enjoyed the video, please, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.